Washington Capitals forward of Genny Kuznetsov has been suspended for four years by the International Ice Hockey Federation. We'll discuss the suspension, what led to it, and how it might impact his NHL career coming up next. So welcome back to Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some breaking news out of the NHL. Washington Capitals star forward Evgeny Kuznetsov has been suspended by the IIHF for four years based on a positive testing of cocaine during the most recent 2019 World Championship tournament held over in Europe this past spring. Now, of course, as most of you probably remember, there was another situation involving Kuznetsov and some cocaine allegations earlier this year. There was a video surfacing around through social media, which appeared to show Kuznetsov in a setting, like in a hotel type environment, uh, where there was some cocaine and things. And obviously he did have to meet with the NHL to discuss, and somehow he managed to talk his way out of it, I guess. Obviously, we don't know what was all discussed, but obviously the video did, uh, you know, implicate him a little bit. But at the same time, there wasn't no clear-cut evidence and proof that he was definitely doing cocaine. He could have been with friends or somebody else that was doing it or whatever. And obviously, you know, it's a situation that he was kind of able to talk himself out of with the NHL. So obviously now this is a new situation. This has now surfaced and kind of looks bad where he already had another situation before uh, that he obviously denied doing it. But based on the information provided and all the comments made, it does look as though Kuznetsov very well may have a problem with cocaine. Here's the original media release from the IHF on Twitter earlier, uh, outlining the suspension due to cocaine in the most recent 2019 World Championships, of course. Uh, before we decided to report on this, I wanted to wait and get a reaction from around the NHL because I figured there wouldn't be too long uh, before other parties like the league or the player or the team, somebody would end up commenting. And now we have comments on the situation from across all of that. So let's get started, first of all, with the statement from the NHL and Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly. Daly says, We have been fully briefed by the IHF with respect to the positive test result and related international sanction that has been imposed on Washington Capitals player Evgeny Kuznetsov. Off. Unlike the IIHF, cocaine is not considered a performance enhancing drug and is therefore not a prohibited substance under the NHL NHLPA performance enhancing substance program. Instead, it is considered a drug of abuse that is tested for in which intervention, evaluation, and mandatory treatment can occur in appropriate cases. Here we understand that Mr. Kuznetsov has voluntarily sought help through the education and counseling program provided for in the NHL and NHLPA collective bargaining agreement and has agreed to a regular testing protocol relating to his involvement with that program. Mr. Kuznetsov has also agreed to an in-person meeting with Commissioner Gary Bettman to discuss his situation and receive his conduct prior to the start of training camp proceedings for the 2019-2020 NHL season. We intend to reserve further comment on the additional actions that may or may not be taken with respect to today's announcement, disciplinary or otherwise, pending the completion of the commissioner's meeting with Mr. Kuznetsov. So obviously it's quite possible he may very well be end up be suspended by the NHL as well. I guess we won't really know until that meeting with Gary Bettman takes place and then ultimately they can decide. So obviously the other thing that we learned from those comments is that Kuznetsov has agreed uh, to use the uh, program available through the NHLPA uh, for substance abuse assistance. So, so obviously he's going to be doing that and has agreed to be tested regularly moving forward. It would not be shocking at all to see the NHL suspend Kuznetsov for a period of time, maybe something similar to what we saw with Austin Watson while he was going through the necessary steps and treatments to uh, to get himself better after everything he went through. Uh, so maybe Kuznetsov faces a similar situation. I guess we'll have to wait and be seen here what the league and Gary Bettman decides after that meeting. Now we also have comments from the team as well as Kuznetsov himself on what's transpired here. It says, we are aware of the positive test result and related international sanction that has been imposed to Evgeny Kuznetsov. We are disappointed with this development and take the occurrence seriously. We understand that Evgeny has voluntarily sought help through the education and counseling program provided for in the NHL slash NHLPA collective bargaining agreement and has agreed to a regular testing protocol related to his involvement with that program. In addition, we are committed to ensuring that he has the necessary support required to work through the situation. We will remain in contact with the NHL as they determine the next steps. Because of the sensitive nature surrounding this matter, there will be no further comment from us at this time. And then here is the quote from Kuznetsov himself. Recently, the IIHF notified me that due to a positive test for a banned substance, I would be suspended from international competition for four years. I have made the decision to accept this penalty. 
Representing my country has always been so close to my heart and something I take much pride in. Not being able to put that sweater on for four years is very hard to take. I've disappointed so many people that are important to me, including my family, teammates, and friends. From the first day I took the ice in D.C., the Washington Capitals organization and our fans have been nothing but great to me and my family. I feel absolutely terrible for letting you down. I realize the only way I can win you back is to take ownership of my situation and my actions from this point forward. So I guess the good news here is that we see Kuznetsov taking ownership of the situation. He's accepted his penalty. He's going to be meeting with Gary Bettman. Obviously, there is a program in place through the collective bargaining agreement for players to get help when they need it for this type of thing. So Obviously, we hope Kuznetsov can deal with this issue uh, and gets himself better and move forward, but it certainly could have a major impact on the capital season, depending if he ends up being suspended for a period of time. It's really hard to say what kind of disciplinary actions, if any, the NHL will take at this point, but it could be significant, and it very well could be a case uh, where he's out for a period of time looking after his well-being first before he can start playing, which ultimately could have a major impact on the Washington Capitals situation throughout the season here. Do you think Kuznetsov will end up being suspended by the NHL? And if so, what do you think might be appropriate in this situation? If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.